Hello, I'm going to show you how to submit your assignment to Turnitin on Moodle. So I'm going to start off by logging into Moodle. And now we'll look at um, your dashboard, which shows your courses. So here's a course, um, and you've got your calendar here. So you can actually see your Turnitin assignments in the calendar. And you can also see a little bit more detail. If you click on the icon for Turnitin, you can see the different uh, assignments, submission areas in your module. So I've got three here. Um, so you can go directly into a Turnitin inbox by clicking here. But I'm going to show you um, via the actual course. So we'll click here and go to the course. Um, so here's the demonstration Turnitin inbox. I'm going to submit my assignment file. So I'll click there. So if this is the first time you've used Turnitin, it's likely to ask you to agree to a Turnitin user agreement. OK, so this is the inbox. Um, it shows you the date that the Turnitin assignment opens the due date for the assignment and the post date when the grade and feedback from lecturers should be released to students and then the marks that are available. Um, and then below that we've got a little button with a green upload arrow which we click and this will allow us to submit our file. So let's do this. Okay, so here we go. We have, you must accept the latest tenancy news screen before you can make a submission. So let's click that. And we might get a pop-up blocker, but we haven't in this case. So that's fine. If you do, if you look up in the, near the address bar for the, with the web address, you can usually accept um, moogle.lsbm.ac.uk. as um, a website we're all happy with. Okay, so I've read all that and I'm going to click I agree. Okay, so we get that. Okay, so now we're ready to submit the file. Um, we're submitting a file, I'm not pasting text in, so that's fine. I will give it a, a title which will be um, MFRD test. From Jago. Um, you'll have to name it yourself. So now I will find my file. So it's on the desktop and I'll drag it in. There we go. You can upload as well. Um, and then you have to tick this box. By checking this box, I confirm that this submission is my own work and I accept all responsibility for any copyright infringements that may occur as a result of the submission. Um, so I've agreed to that, so I'm going to submit it. So now this is sent up to the Turnitin system. But what I'm waiting for now is a receipt, that it's been received by that system. Okay, so there's the digital receipt. So if you click away from that, that will... Um, remove that and so it's already processed so this is producing a 99% similarity report because I copied all the text in that from the American Constitution if you want to have a quick look at that report if you click there it will show where it's found similarity to your text um, either on the internet or in journals or referenced in other databases. So there it's showing there. That's where it's found it. It's found from um, www.history.com, which is right. That's where I copied the text from. OK, so that, that gives you an idea of what the originality report looks like. And now I'm going to go back to the tab. So there's my inbox. So that is how you submit a file and you've got the digital receipt there. So have a quick look at that. 
So there's our digital receipt, and you can print it off. So that's good. Um, and it shows you the date it was submitted. Now, you see I've still got the green upload button, which means until the due date, you can resubmit um, to see uh, what similarity score you get. And hopefully, if you're writing in a honest way, you will be getting a very low similarity score right from the outset. Um, but this is a way of just helping you uh, kind of review your work. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the course page. So I'm going to click the link here in the breadcrumb trail, which will take you back to the course. So there we go. So that's how to submit work. Um, we want all work submitted to be written into a cover sheet um, here. And I'll show you where that can be found. Um, so in your My Courses area, if you go to the Student Information course, if you go down to forms, there you go, you can download a copy of the assignment cover sheet which you write your assignment on. So um, let's get rid of that, if you can see it here actually. So there's my cover sheet there in the actual alternative report that I've got from uploading my work. And those are the um, principal actions you need to do to upload your work.